Hi, my name is Robert from Amazon Associates. Welcome to the first part of how to set up a website using WordPress. After watching this video, you will know how to choose and register the right domain for your website and how to buy hosting. You will also learn what WordPress is and how to set it up. Enjoy! How to choose and register the right domain. If you have decided to have your own affiliate website, you will need to buy a domain name. This is easily recognized as something like www.theperfectgrind.co.uk. The www element stands for World Wide Web and it's standard on every domain. The co.uk element is named top level domain and shows that this website is based in the UK. So if you are building a website for consumers in the UK market, it is useful to choose a co.uk top level domain instead of .com, which you would use for the states. So the only part that you have to decide on is what goes in between. This should indicate the main content of the website as it is displayed in the Google search results. Avoid long domain names as they are difficult to remember. The domain name represents your website on the internet, so try to make it short as a good brand would be. Try to aim for something like maximum two or three words. Think of a few good domain names that you'd like to use. Don't just come up with one as it might already be taken, so make a short list regarding to your topic. You will need either a credit card or a PayPal account to pay for the domain. This is a requirement of most web hosters. When you are buying your hosting, which will be shown later, you can buy and register a domain directly from a web hoster. Buying hosting and setting it up. When you build your website, it will need to be stored by a hoster. They essentially sell you space on their servers to hold the data of your website and make it available to the public. Most popular web hosters do have phone numbers, so give them a call. Else, order online a hosting package that includes minimum an SQL-based database, PHP 5.6 or above, free unlimited traffic and 20 GB storage space. Buy a simple and cheap shared hosting package for around 3 to 4 pounds per month. Some web hosters do offer packages that are optimized for WordPress. Make sure to get one of those to install WordPress quick in the next step. Almost every hosting company uses what is called a control panel to allow you to control your hosting account. In this control panel, you can add new domains or set up email addresses. When your account is set up, you can install a content management system, which we cover in the next section. What is WordPress? There are many different types of site builder and content management systems available and any of them will allow you to build a website. A content management system, so called CMS, is simply the software that you will use to add your content to your website. That content will include text, images, videos and other elements. Many website owners like WordPress because it is free and very well set up to publish content easily. Usually, you find within your control panel in the software section the option to install WordPress with a few clicks. This is the most easiest way to install the CMS and you will just need to supply a few information during the install process like your admin password and a short description for the website. You can also install WordPress manually by uploading it on your FTP server. For this, you need to download the latest version from wordpress.org, edit manually the wp-config.php file, set up an SQL database, upload the folder to your web hoster and run the installation as described in the WordPress README. When you look at your domain name by typing it into the browser, it will now look something like this. If it does, you will know it has been installed properly. Your site is now online. Thanks for watching. In the next video you will learn how to choose and install a WordPress theme and how a website is structured. You will also learn what you need to check before your website goes live. Bye.